This is SK Ghosh. I would like to welcome you to our web seminar today. Uh, it is on changes from ACE 710 to ACE 716. It is an overview kind of a seminar because the changes are many and quite substantive uh, and all we can do in a couple of hours is to give you a, an, an overview of the changes without trying to go into a lot of depth. This time, in addition to the printed version, ASCE has brought out something that is, uh, I think, very useful. Uh, prior to now, the seismic design parameters S sub S, S sub 1 uh, had to come from the U.S. Geological Survey website. To find uh, wind design wind speed, particularly in hurricane prone region, we used to go to an ATC website. Uh, ASCE has brought out a new hazard tool which will give us all environmental loads, all environmental loads that we are required to design for at all locations within the United States. So that would include wind, seismic, flood, snow, rain, ice, and tsunami. Okay. So uh, unfortunately, this is not included in ac 7 it is a separate uh, annual subscription. I, I don't remember some. Uh, I think it is 64 members, 75 for non-members, something in that range. The other thing they have done, AC has done, is, is to have a subscription-based online version where you have both AC 710 and AC 716 and their commentaries. A, a good thing about the online version is where AC716, let us say, references ACI31814. If you would uh, put your cursor on, on, uh, on ACI318 and click, it will open up ACI 318 for you and, and you can go to the required section number and so forth. So very convenient. This is, as I said, subscription based. The previous edition of ACE 7, which was AC 710, was adopted by the 2012 IBC, which is still in use in many parts of the country. Uh, then ACE processed a supplement number one to AC 710 and 2015 IBC adopted AC 710 including supplement number one. Okay. A supplement number two to AC 710 was also published but, but that was too late to be included in the 20, 2015 IBC adoption. So AC 710 in 2012 as well as in 2015 IBC. So ACE 716, the, the books you saw on a couple slides earlier, the, the provisions, the commentary never gets adopted obviously. AC 716 has been adopted by the 2018 IBC which itself has been out for quite a while now. Uh, it is being adopted uh, slowly but surely by jurisdictions. Uh, there are significant jurisdictions, particularly in Nevada and Arizona, that have already adopted the IBC. Now, uh, what we will discuss in this seminar are changes beyond uh, supplement supplements number one and two to ACE 710. So anything that was changed through supplement number one or supplement number two will not be the subject of our discussion today. We will go beyond supplement number two. Supplement number one had about two dozen technical items of changes. 
supplement number two had only a couple of changes to the non-structural, uh, not non-structural, to the non-building structures chapter, chapter 15 of ASCE 7. Now talking about changes, the first change you should see before even opening the book. The title has been for as long as anybody remembers, Minimum Design Loads for Buildings and Other Structures. Now the title is Minimum Design Loads and Associated Criteria for Buildings and Other Structures. The change was made because we have uh, seismic design forces given in AC7 in addition to the other loads like wind loads and, and, and live loads and dead loads. 